Librans, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jali here with a little bonus reading. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about, pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take money, e-gifts, donations, I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them, it is a scam. Now I have felt generally the collective energy has been quite low, so I thought of ways to really inspire and uplift you all um, with shorter, sharp videos. So uh, these uh, sort of messages tend to be quite long. So I've migrated to TikTok for um, the duration to raise vibrations using 60 second videos of nature, quotes, pick a card, card of the day, but also there is a Q&A facility on there as well, which I'm really excited to get to grips with to connect to you all on a deeper level. So if you are on TikTok, then follow the link in the comments box below. Apparently there's another Baba Jolie on there, so please follow the one in the comments box below and um, you will find me there. Again, it's free, no money, no e-gifts, no donations. Of course, if you're not on TikTok, then give it a wide berth. You'll see also that I'm currently in a different space. I've gone to visit my folks for a couple of weeks, so uh, I hope you enjoy the new view. Uh, let's get to your reading. Um, this reading is all about you, my beautiful Librans. We tend to, as Tarot readers, including myself, focus on money, career, uh, love, those sort of things, uh, but this is your reading just about you to see how you're navigating the period and how you're feeling and if anything comes up there, any blockages to help you through the next couple of weeks. So let us begin. Librans. So how have you been feeling uh, with that new moon in Scorpio? Uh, brings up a lot of uh, sort of feelings, things that we were not willing to face, things that we were avoiding, uh, all comes to the surface. So sometimes Scorpio season can feel a little bit uncomfortable at first. Uh, it is a bit of a wild ride uh, when things that we have put in a little box to sort of um, deal with another time, all come and resurface all at the same time. Uh, but also it is a very passionate time, so you may be feeling that your uh, sort of motivation, your drive, your libido uh, has resurfaced after a period of um, feeling like nothing's going on there for a while. Let's see how you're feeling about this period deep down. Uh, you got no, whoa, you got number 20. Uh, okay, that's to start. Uh, they want one more, so I'll give you one more, of course, and we've got Number 22 and number 23, really interesting that those two have come out as a pathway sort of, um, sort of as you move forward about making some sort of decision here for you. But we've got number 20 and that of course is the garden. So this is about um, people sort of coming together in some way. You may be trying to cultivate something, my beautiful Librans, and thinking about not just your family, but your soul tribe, your the people that you interact with. You may be really focusing on looking to others and seeing what they're doing, but also trying to see where you fit in. Um, now, the garden is about, um, it can be about um, networking. So maybe you feel like you have to reach out to people or uh, maybe get advice from people or I just feel connection is important. Now, it's almost like, um, it's, I, I'm, I don't know what I'm getting right now, so I'm just going to try and explain to you what they're trying to give me. It's almost like this invisible connection between people. Okay, now I always uh, say that we are one uh, in terms of humanity in the world, the universe, we are one. So maybe you're looking at that invisible connection that binds us all and recognizing, recognizing that we are one and that actually gives you power. When you realize that you are united with a lot of people, it gives you a lot of power. Power that you may feel is necessary uh, during uh, maybe these times. Uh, you know, we're going through a very large shift in humanity right now. You've got the snake here in the center. Uh, that can be about, you know, you, there's hidden knowledge here or there's something here that you feel is um, not being told to you, a truth withheld or withdrawn from you in some way. And you may be trying to dig deeper and maybe asking around, maybe um, seeking information. Uh, because it gives you a lot of choice here. I feel like there's a, some big choices you're having to make here. Um, the garden also can be about you maybe, you know, cultivating you, shedding things no longer necessary in your world um, and, and moving forward, trying to 
sort of build a healthier path for you. When you think about a garden, you know, you often have to de-head roses or uh, sort of cut off stems that have like become a little bit um, dead, I guess, you know, and you just sort of like cultivating, you're cutting it because it grows back even stronger. So I feel like the things that you're eliminating from your life, whether it's people, toxic situations, or I feel like it's actually building you up. I feel power from this card. Now, in terms of um, numbers, this is number 20. So this is the judgment card, and that is about weighing up options. Interesting because you've got number 22 as well, which is about a fork in the road, some sort of decision that you have to make. And right now you may be feeling a little bit nervous about having to make a decision because you don't want to make the wrong one. I mean, humans in general, none of us want to be making the wrong decision, but we have to be aware that sometimes there's no wrong or right. Okay. There is the right choice. Uh, well, I, I want to rephrase that. There's no wrong. There's no right in terms of what is acceptable. Of course, if you know, it's not acceptable to hurt another human being, for example. Uh, but, you know, I feel like um, there's only your way. Because <laughs> I say that because they're giving me this Sinatra song right now. I did it my way. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm getting this really, I'm not even sure if this is the lyrics, but I'm getting like a Sinatra song uh, that is, I did it my way. But it's, now, please don't shoot the messenger when I say this. I'm going to give you exactly the words I'm given, okay? I, I feel like the lyrics have been changed. So either you've been listening to a song that has changed the Sinatra My Way lyrics recently, and it is lyrics to do with something else, and you've applied it to your situation, please take it as it resonates. It could also be a song that you're about to hear on the radio straight after this reading, or you just heard before you came to this reading. Uh, but I, I do feel like you're making a decision. The most important thing to remember is to do what is right for you, okay? Or what is best for you? Because as I said, no right or wrong way, I feel, in this situation. Um, but it's, it's the beginning of the Sinatra song, and what they're giving me is stop spreading the news. But I think the real lyrics are start spreading the news. Um, it says, stop spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be, I feel it says a part of it. That's so weird. Cause that's not even the same song they're giving me. So they're doing, okay. They're, I understand now why it doesn't make sense. Okay, so they're giving me the first song. It's like New York, New York, I feel. Um, and then the second, the, the first thing that they're giving me is I did it my way. But then they're looping back and stop spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. And then it stops. So I know instinctively, because I know that song, it is New York, New York, right? So either you are leaving New York or you're going to New York or there is something. Um, oh, I do apologize. There's lots of knocks there. Um, I don't know if you're catching that on camera. Okay. Um, so maybe they're doing some sort of um, fireworks. I mean, in the daytime, that would be pretty much wasted. Right. But anyway, uh, there's a lot of uh, knocks or something there that literally shaking the windows. Uh, maybe it's a sign. OK. But anyway, they're indicating here uh, you're weighing something up. The number 20 is the judgment energy. So this is about, you know, not wanting to make a mistake, having clarity, making decisions having some sort of wake up call. You also may be trying to think about coming back to your center, what is healthy for you? Um, because the judgment card is about choosing a path or choosing your life's purpose that is good for you, that enriches your soul, that does something that is healthy for you and your family unit or your friends. So I feel like you may be weighing something up here and cultivating your world, streamlining, taking things away. But it's almost like you're searching for what is the right way. I just feel like there's this searching energy, okay? Um, maybe stop spreading the news is about gossip. Um, stop spreading the news. I'm leaving today. You're leaving something. Uh, I mean, this is pretty much the card of the fork in the road. And you've got number 22 as the fork in the road. So I feel like there's some major decision you're having to make here. Um, yeah, I feel like you're 
cutting something, something to an end here. Now we've got the, um, this card here, it's number seven, which is a chariot card, energy, which is, you know, movement forward, and it is a snake, and I am using the Lenormand deck there by Lamucci Design, which is really beautiful. The snake tends to represent, um, you know, something hidden, or maybe even a perceived deception, or some sort of lie. You may feel like someone is not being completely honest with you, or you feel like something's not right. You know, if you think about it, it's like there's a snake in the garden kind of energy, and you're trying to flush it out. You're trying to find or you're trying to understand things deeper. You're, you're cutting things back so that you reveal the truth is what I feel here. And Libra, you are the sign of the justice card, which is about finding that truth, which is about that, uh, you know, digging deeper, uh, finding a solution, but also um, trying to find your way and the truth of the situation, whether it is your truth or whether it is a truth of the time period or a truth of a person. Um, you may feel like something doesn't sit really well with you at the moment. Um, now also snakes, they, they represent rebirth, okay? Shedding skin. They actually sort of regenerate themselves, shed what is old, what is unnecessary, and uh, you know, rebirth into a new skin, into a new form. So you may be feeling there are um, you know, bad habits that you're trying to release, whether it's overeating, whether it's eating the wrong things, whether it's not exercising, whether it's not meditating, whether it's letting that uh, ex-love come back into your life and really dominate your thoughts and you know, do the same pattern that they always do, whether it is a friendship that is one-sided or whether it is a friend who tends to you know, look down on you a little bit, but you're still keeping them in your social circle. It could even be family members that you feel like sometimes their comments are a little bit sort of off-center or left field where you're like, actually that hurts me or you don't support me. Uh, it's something here where you're like trying to release it, I feel, uh, trying to get rid of it in some way. Now, number seven does mean you will move forward and past it. You will overcome whatever uh, you feel is a challenge. Um, and if you've got, for example, um, you may have trust issues from a past relationship or from something from childhood in some way. I feel like you're trying to take a path that leads you away from that. You're trying to process those things in order to um, move forward, okay? Uh, we've also got number 22, which is that fork in the road. Okay, so a decision needs to be made here. This is the crossroad. So you may be in between choices right now, or you may feel like you're being forced to choose something here, um, and you want to dig out or flush out the truth before you make an informed decision on this before you move forward. Uh, also, I feel like one path leads to a shadow kind of energy. As you can see, uh, you know, that shadow side there, there's a lot of um, shadows, tree shadows there. So I feel like there's one path that you find is daunting. Okay, so I feel like there's something here where you're a little bit nervous about this path. And the other one seems to be a much happier, simpler path. And of course, why would you not take that path? Uh, so I feel like you don't want to make the wrong decision here and you're at, um, yeah, I feel like you're at the crossroads here. Uh, we've also got number 23. Okay, now number 23 is the mouse. Now, you know, mice are considered pests. Now, I love all creatures. I think they're integral to the world. Otherwise, they would not be here, okay? So the mouse, the mouse is often about fear, okay? It is number 23, which when you reduce it, two plus three is, uh, you know, a challenge number, which is five, okay? Uh, and also you've got number 22 there when you reduce it, it's four. So that is about power. It is about the emperor energy. It is about owning your path. There is no right or wrong decision. There is only the path that is meant for you that you feel instinctively you need to take. So listen to your intuition. It will never ever lead you astray. But this is about anxiety. You may feel it's difficult to choose and therefore you may have a little bit of analysis paralysis at this moment in time because you're in between those choices and you may feel um, one path there's could be anxiety about health as well. You may be worried about your health right now because sometimes this card can be about um, health issues or um, yeah, being worried about um, what is healthy for you, okay? Or it just feels like there's anxiety here at the moment and there's some major choices. Now this is faded energy, so I feel like this is deep down. You're not letting it govern you. I don't feel like you're letting it control you, whatever this anxiety or this choice is, but I feel like you are aware that you must make this choice and I feel like you're doing what is right according to your path, okay? Because everyone's path is different. Everyone's gonna make a different choice. Everyone's gonna make an informed decision about whatever it is that is right or best for them. So I feel, um, you know, there may also be something here where you have to leave some people or some situation behind in order to take 
the decision that you decide. So let's go a little bit deeper and find out what's going on for you. But uh, right now, my beautiful Librans, I'm seeing that you're having a big decision, a lifestyle choice kind of decision um, that starts with you really wanting to make a healthy decision and you may be a little bit worried. I mean, look at the devil. Look at this, this is obsessive energy. This is you know, something toxic. Okay, something you feel is not right, um, and you're trying to cultivate it. You're trying to cut, you know, cut it out of your world or move away from it in some way. Uh, we've got the Eight of Feathers. Again, look, it's crossing. Interesting, it's crossing the snake there. Something that is hidden. Something that you feel is just not right. And the Eight of Feathers is releasing denial and seeing. It is about you know self-imposed restrictions and seeing something that you feel is holding you back in some way. Look that big eye there. It's like seeing the truth of a situation. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Librans? What do they need to know? Now, just to let you know, your deck is getting very heavy at the moment, so it feels like a very burdensome choice that you have to make. So I'm sending you a huge hug, the biggest I have to offer, okay, because it feels really heavy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Thank you so much. Two of coins. Sorry, ten of coins. Why am I seeing two of coins? I'll go one more, but um, they're giving me a ton of coins there. Um, we got the tower. Okay, so, uh, I mean, I've got to give you the cards that are coming your way, my beautiful Librans. Now, when you get a devil and a tower card, um, you know, towers are, I don't ever, and I'm Scorpio, so towers are Scorpio Aries energy, and they often mean something, maybe an abrupt change or some sort of, uh, you know, a quick ending or some sort of uh, shift there that happens. Um, that you were not expecting, okay? And I feel uh, it often brings like an epiphany. It could be an old way of thinking. It could be like you suddenly get an idea on something that you've been obsessing over for a while. You couldn't see the details and then all of a sudden everything becomes clear and you just shed old habits or old ideas. It could also be you sort of physically moving or having an abrupt end to a circumstance that you felt was toxic for a while um, but it actually brings a great reward because there's a ten of pentacles there so we got the devil card this is a protagonist energy something that you may be obsessing about or something that you feel is a blockage now the devil card is not an evil card just like the tower is not um, you know a destructive card it can mean something shocking happens but it gives you a chance to rebuild back stronger okay the tower is often something that may it feel like upheaval, but it is always a positive shift in order to rebuild because there's like analysis paralysis here or something, a stuck energy. The tower comes along to say, oh, you couldn't make a decision? Well, the universe is going to help you nudge uh, yourself in the right direction. Uh, but the devil card, uh, just to let you know, major arcana cards, the devil card, the tower card, they are cards that show the human journey, okay? So we often start off with the fool card, which is a young energy, naive, we don't know the world yet, we have some, ex we have some ideas of what we want to do, but we have no real expectation of an outcome, okay? And then we move on to the magician, we realize our own power and that everything is within, our thoughts become things. Then the high priestess, we, we discover spirituality, come back to our center, we start to trust our intuition a bit more. Then later on in life, we start to, you know, accept our bodies more with the Empress card and understand that we are creation, that we are wonderful. The Emperor, we start to power up even more. We start to recognize that, um, you know, we can strategize and plan for the future and so and so forth. So it, we take a journey and then we get to the Devil card, which is a block. It's like hitting a brick wall. And what is our blockage? Is it temptation? Is it a person we can't get past? Is it a lie or a deception that someone has told us and now we've got trust issues and we're carrying those trust issues with us throughout our journey and sort of implementing them in situations with new people that are really not warranted. So for example, if you were in a relationship many years ago and someone really did a number on you and did not act in their best, highest energy and told you a lie and you, you found that out, you know, that is, you know, a trauma that is due to a trust issue. Then many years later, you're processing that, you're healing that, but then you have another relationship that comes along and it's wonderful. But then those doubts start to creep in because you've been there before. So it can mean that sometimes things from our past are in some way still attached to us. Okay, it could also mean that there is obsessive thinking here, or it could be, uh, so I will pull a card on it just to clarify, but there's something here that feels not right, or it's something here that feels unhealthy, and you're trying to disconnect from it, you're trying to wheedle it out, you know, you're trying to uh, see what it truly is for what it is. Often, 
And think about this in terms of a movie. Say, for example, you watch a horror movie, right? And you never really see the, the sort of thing that is horrible. Like, uh, they showed me this many, many months ago, which was Alien, right? The first Alien film. Uh, you watch it, if you've watched it before, you never really see the alien. So your mind sort of plays tricks on you and things become even more heightened. The fear becomes more heightened because you haven't actually seen it yet. You've heard it, you've seen a shadow of it, all of those things, they build fear, okay? But when you identify it, so now that you actually see it and then you come into Alien number two, equally incredible film, but now you know what to expect. You've seen it, you can identify it. So that's about life as well. Often our mind, which is why you got an eight of feathers there, which is an eight of swords, often builds a fear on something that we have not known or something we cannot see yet. So that's about you digging deep and finding, identifying what it is that's holding you back. It could be something simple like you're making a new start in life, taking a new job or deciding to move to a new area that you're not familiar 100% with and you're like a little bit nervous, a little bit fearful. And then you realize that actually um, whatever this new start is, it's actually a really positive thing and brings a lot of good fortune and a lot of promise and a lot of exciting things on the other side. So whatever decision you're wrestling with here, definitely get all the information before you make an informed decision and then make your choice based on what is best for you, okay? Because we got a 10 of coins here and we got the tower. So you may be shocking some people here and making the right decision for you, but it is a solid investment in you, okay? So for example, the 10 of coins could mean, you know, um, you know, it often indicates family energy. It could be, you know, that you set up a family business, for example, but you're a little bit nervous because you feel there's always that one person in the family that sometimes they're a little bit unreliable. Their heart's in the right place, but sometimes they do things that's like a plot twist. That you're like, I don't understand where that came from. How are we part of the same family? So, you know, we, there's always that energy there, but it can also mean, you know, this is about leaving a legacy. This is about a lot of money coming your way. Um, when these readings are not meant to be um, about money or career or love or anything like that, I feel like this is about you investing in yourself for your future. This is about leaving a legacy. This is about, you know, you sort of thinking about you in the future, building a solid foundation of security for you. And I feel like there is security in whatever decision you make. The tower is also there to remind you that anything that is shed, anything that is taken away, is streamlined, is because it is unwanted and unnecessary in your world. It may be holding you back right now. In the traditional Rider Waite Tarot, there are two figures that leap into the unknown. The, the tower is actually on fire in that card. So if they were to stay where they are, they get burnt. It's over, it's game over for them if they stay where they are stuck. We got the devil card there, so something is keeping you stuck or something is holding you back. So they're indicating take a leap of faith because, or let something crumble that is meant to be let go of, whether it is a toxic relationship, toxic marriage, because you've got a 10 of pentacles there, or whether it is a friendship or a job, whatever it is that you feel is making you anxious. This is your life. This is you taking this journey of life and you shouldn't spend it in fear. You shouldn't spend it in, um, you know, playing small. They don't want you to play small. Okay, so realize that some things are meant to be let go of. And if you find it difficult to make a decision and you're, you keep sort of umming and aahing about which direction to go in, the universe sends the tower and will make a decision because they are giving this energy right now of to make no choice is to also make a choice, right? Because the choice will be, making for, it will be made for you, okay? If uh, you do not make a choice. So with that tower energy, I do feel like there is a crumbling here of something that is negative, a negative force in your life at the moment. And the universe wants to change that uh, in order to up, make some sort of, it's almost like they want you to avert disaster. Um, you know, don't have a fear of change because it will bring a really positive outcome. Now I'm just gonna go and clarify some of these cards before we move on. Ooh, straight away. How would you like to receive? Okay, thank you so much. How's it? So interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go one more. Thank you so much for guys, going angels. Can you please guide the tower again in the reverse? So yeah, they're indicating some things have just got to crumble. Uh, they want one more, so that is again unusual. So I will. Ace of Wands. Oh wow. They just said to me, keep them rolling, keep them rolling. Uh, that is not an energy I normally deal with. So if you talk like that, keep them rolling, like to come again. Uh, then there's something in this message for you. 
Uh, one more. Keep this. They're just showing me this hand doing this. Keep them rolling. So I'm just getting. I would never normally take this many cards. Okay. There we go. They're just saying let go, let go, let go. Okay. So they want me to stop there, so I will. Okay. So we got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here. So this could be someone who is, uh, you know, how can I put that? Someone who relies on you heavily. It could be someone who is, you know, keeps going back, relies on you for money, for example. Uh, they're basically saying, uh, you know, you could be even leaving your home because the Queen of Pentacles is about, um, you know, nesting. You may feel like you have to leave your home for whatever reason, or you may feel like um, maybe there's been some sort of financial loss recently for you. Uh, that's not going to be for everyone, okay? So don't be worrying if you're like, oh my gosh, financial loss. If it's not happening to you right now, uh, then, you know, it it doesn't apply to your situation. The Queen of Pentacles here makes, in this position, makes you feel like you're not stable, whatever this is. It makes you feel like you're not on solid ground. But they're indicating that yes, it's frustrating, but it's all going to work out in your favor. You just gotta let go of the control issue of it. And we've all got control issues, right? Uh, we all like to have our world in a certain way. But the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse um, can mean, you know, uh, for example, you may have found that I'm just getting this energy of this stubborn, you may have found that there's someone here who was sort of envious of you or s stubborn in their energy and, you know, they don't, it's almost like they could not wish the best for you in some way and you're, tr you're finally realizing that and you're letting them go out of your life. Uh, the Eight of Wands indicates whatever blockage this has been, it has held you back in some way and it's made you feel very frustrated. Um, with this. You may have felt like loads of delays here. You may have felt like there was no movement forward. You may have felt stuck. Interesting that you got an eight and eight as well uh, in that position because this is about for the self. There's something here that you have um, felt like you didn't see. It's almost like it was a red flag and then you may have let it go and then let it go and then all of a sudden you have to make a decision. Okay. Um, we've also got the two of swords which is that stalemate sort of stagnant um, energy where you feel analysis paralysis. You know you need to make a decision. Now what's really interesting here is the two of swords, the moon represents uncertainty, but also the swords are about, you know, mental conflict or uh, some sort of stress, mental block there, um, not wanting to make a wrong judgment, for example, on a situation. But you can see this figure is blindfolded and the swords are pointed in different directions. There's no threat there. So it is a defense mechanism, this fear. Um, so they're indicating uh, with that tower in reverse as well, you will avert disaster, okay? They're indicating here that there, there will be, you know, how can I put that? There will be, there will be change. And that is the one constant that is in life, Libra. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. There's always change. That is the one thing we can be guaranteed in life, change. Um, and they're indicating with this, some things that you have to let go of may be disappointing. So you may have been rejected or felt rejected or unseen in a situation. There may have been uh, brutal sort of endings to things or you know, there could have been rejection, but rejection is uh, protection and redirection. Always remember that. Rejection is protection and redirection because spirit can see the things that you cannot sometimes. Uh, we are all given what we are meant to see in that moment. And as you can see that um, the strength card there indicates you're strong, you're strong enough to do this, whatever this is, this journey. And this is courage to um, sort of lead in your highest interest. It is number eight, it is a Leo energy. So again, that is about the self-love, self-respect and doing what you gotta do for you, okay? Um, and also, um, we've also got that four of pentacles in the reverse, um, which is about, you know, letting go, opening up to the process. Um, not controlling the way things go, making the decision that is right for you and then just seeing how it goes, okay? Um, so I do feel with the Four of Pentacles here, it's about not holding on. Um, they are indicating, um, interesting, okay? They're asking me to go with another deck. That's so, I'm just gonna reach over here and get another deck. Um, they're asking me to clarify the Four of Pentacles with a Major Arcana. So that is unusual, so I will. Okay. And then they said, and that is all. Aha! 
Wow. If you know my readings, you'll know that uh, often a tower is followed by a Wheel of Fortune because it is a turn around, okay? It is a shift. The tower, the Wheel of Fortune basically means surprise, okay? Uh, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune and we've got the Hangman. So it's almost like, you know, surprise, uh, the universe is going to intervene and bring a positive outcome, but you'll wait for the results. You'll have to wait for the results a little bit after that, okay? Also, the, the Hangman energy is about uh, sort of waiting, but also seeing it from a new perspective. Whatever it is that you're set to lose, look at what you're set to gain. So they're really highlighting that it will be a positive outcome, but you may not see it in this moment, whatever you feel like you're having to choose. Now, always when we've got choice in life, there's one we choose, which means we have to let one go, right? Whether it's a person, whether it's a job, whether it's a candy bar, there's always gonna be like a choice and you choose that one that you want and you gotta let the other one go. So it's about streamlining. So I feel whatever it is you're wrestling with right now, um, there will be a positive outcome. That's a lot of cards. They have a lot of messages for you. Um, so, any final messages that Spirit would like to give you? And they want to give you quite a lot, my beautiful Libra. And so you're obviously going through something right now. Um, it says, don't let yesterday use up too much of today. That's a very important message because that will lead to a blockage, right? And then we've got, it's easy to be brave from a distance. Ain't that the truth? When you're living it, when you're in the midst of it, it feels like a hurricane, right? So... You know, it's easy for people to say from a distance, oh, it's going to be okay, or maybe you felt like it's all going to be okay, but when the storm encroaches and it comes closer, uh, you know, we feel anxiety. So it's okay to sit with that anxiety, but make the right choices that are made for you. We've got certain things catch your eye, but pursue only the things that capture your heart. Oh gosh, we've got two knocks there. I hope you caught that. We've got two knocks there. If that's a confirmation at all, that is a confirmation. So um, that's important. Always follow with your heart. Openness. So they want you to let go of the control. They want you to be open. It says, create the atmosphere of openness and trust without game playing, transparency, vulnerability, receptivity. Okay. And we've got boredom here. The devil card could be boredom as well. Uh, it says, gain happiness by learning how to want the things you already have. Unhappy, discontent, routine, apathy. And it's number 64. So when you reduce it, that is 10, of course, which is endings bringing a new beginning. And number 10 happens to be the Wheel of Fortune as well. We've got Harvest. You're about to receive rewards for all your hard work and dedication. Happiness, wealth, blessings, and overflow. But it looks like there's some sort of adversity that you're going through or some sort of major decision that you're going through first. We've got children. Don't let life tame you. Explore your path like a child. Pregnancy, playfulness, innocence. Okay, it's number 15, which does tend to be uh, the devil card energy. So it's about opening yourself up uh, to abundance. Don't block it, okay? It's about curiosity, that childlike spirit. Remember, we're supposed to be having fun on this journey called life, but sometimes it doesn't feel like that, right? I've been there myself. I'm, sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. Not everybody gets a free ride, okay? So I'm just gonna get you a card, which is a beautiful deck here. Oh, just to let you know, I was using the shamanic Heart Oracle by Maruka X there. Uh, also, I was using the Magritte Peterson Tarot. Um, now, this is a um, beautiful deck here as well, the Personal Power Oracle deck, um, and that's by Dea Druitt. And um, this is an affirmation that you can say when you're feeling a little bit anxious over the next couple of weeks, okay? It says, I am hopeful. Now, that card came out as well for um, Sagittarius, I think. I am hopeful. Okay, so it's about positive vibes. Also, this figure here is revealing something. So revealing the truth or revealing something you felt was hidden. And it says, I am safe. I am safe. So whatever path you do take, make sure it is the one that is um, instinctively meant for you and it will be a positive outcome. Okay, I am safe. So uh, you got this. Okay, my beautiful Librans. I'm just gonna give you a trinket before we close. Uh, just to let you know if you want to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is visualize what it is that you try uh, or you want to um, have or manifest. Visualize like you got it, like you're living it right now. Then say these words out loud to the universe. I am a magnet for abundance. And pop those words also in the comments box below and I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 21st of November, okay? Uh, also, we've got the skull and crossbows, which really uh, sort of connects to Scorpio season. It is about uh, releasing anything that is toxic because Scorpio season is about release as well. Um, and, you know, really 
anything that we are avoiding, we cannot avoid it. That's why that tarot card comes up. You cannot avoid it, um, whatever this change is, but it is going to bring a very positive, happy outcome here. Uh, they want this on the devil card, okay? And first of all, uh, sorry, last of all even, we have the foot, okay? The first step, taking the first step. So the first step is making the decision. Okay, and then just take it from there. See where life takes you. Uh, but it looks like you are making a, a step in the right direction is what I feel. Um, and where would you like this? They want it on the strength card. Have courage to take the first step. You're hopeful, you're safe. Okay, my beautiful Librans. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. This is just a little bonus reading to see how you are or what you're dealing with at this moment in time. And uh, I will be doing the usual sort of singles readings or uh, twin flame readings or career readings in the next couple of days. Thank you so much. Love and light.